one cup of water. You would not eat a mush bar that came directly out of your toilet, and neither should your duplicates. However, based on your comments from the last video here, the one major problem I have going on inside of my base is germs. A lot, a lot, a lot of germs, as mentioned many times. And that's all because of the liquid cycle I have going on right here. Plus, I also have the toilet in the same room as some other stuff. So, based on your comments, based on taking a look at also what's going on here, um, we should always separate the toilet from, from the cycle of other things that are going to be feeding, you know, your food. But I want to investigate this loop here a little bit because there's several things that are going on here. First and foremost, I have never really look, took, take a, taken a look at the liquid that is going through the algae terrariums. This might be, maybe, depending on what we have down here, one possible way to clean water. The other thing is, if it comes out of a carbon skimmer, does that potentially create some clean polluted water? And at that point, once we sieve it out and put it back into nice clean water, can we use that as a source? Like, can we get to clean water at any point in this loop so that I don't need to sense whether or not germs exist or not, or pipe it over to someplace that's going to clean it? So it's time for a little bit of an experiment. All right, so what I'm going to do here is set up a very simple experiment. I'm going to have polluted, dirty water that will then be sieved out, and it'll also be run through an algae thingamabobbers and all of that fun stuff to see if any of those elements actually clean the water that goes through them. All right, so here is my little experiment. Obviously, we have a lavatory, we've got the shower, and a sink, so we can see just how many germs we're going to pick up from any one of those pieces of equipment. For now, those will empty over here and to the right. However, we can recirculate things around and feed other pieces of equipment. I'll put some polluted uh, water up here and run that through the terrariums to see if those, you know, if the polluted water that comes out of that is actually going to be germy or not. And I know the water sieve doesn't necessarily clean germs, so I'm not expecting that to have any effect. But what about the carbon skimmer? It seems like the wild card. I'm not exactly sure if that one will or will not kill the germs that run through it. Interesting, let's see what happens. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and let them use the lavatory, the shower, or the sink here, just because I wanna see how many germs I really need to deal with. All right, so at the beginning of the next cycle here, we should get some duplicates visiting this stuff. So let's see what we get for germs. So the shower ran, but you can see that we have zero germs that actually came from that duplicate because that duplicate has no germs on it. Now Bubbles is running. Let's see if we get some germs out of that. Yes, you can see that there is some food poisoning in that. So that was able to clean her up. You can see that I have about 95,000 germs for food poisoning that came straight out of the toilet. So just like in my video at the very beginning, that would be kind of disgusting if that got mixed into your mush bar. So now with that in information, let's go over here to the water and I'll put 95,000 and I'm gonna paint that in right here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you can barely see it, but there is definitely food poisoning inside of there. Where's all the germs going? Okay, so here's a really weird thing. The algae terrarium has zero surface germs, but the water does have food poisoning inside of it. And as you can see, we're then taking that food poisoning and pushing it into the air, which in my previous testing actually has not really been a bad thing. 
All right, so here's water. This is with 95,000 germs in each one. You can see that inside of this pipe, for some odd reason, the amount of germs that end up inside the pipe is way less. Oh, okay. That's why the disease count is per the total volume. I got it. So since you can cram in, oh, hang on, that's actually <laughs> more like that because there's a hundred kilograms or a thousand kilograms in a single tile potentially. So I've multiplied this and now we're dealing with a lot more germs. So here we go. Now the contents inside this pipe are accurate. We got 90 some thousand. Still zero surface germs on the terrariums. You can see the stuff that's running through the sieve is no good. It is clean water, but it's full and of germs. And then I kind of need to do this number and fill this with carbon dioxide. All right, so the carbon skimmer is running and you can see that the food poisoning that's coming out of it is pretty nasty. So here's the crazy thing that I've seen before. Even though there's food poisoning in the air, and in this case we have 43,000 germs there, you can see that the germs on these duplicates are pretty much nothing, or no surface germs at all. It has no negative effect, even though the uh, food poisoning becomes airborne. So the real question is when we go to empty this, these, these terrariums, will that have germs in them or not? Because if it doesn't, then this is a great way to like, hey, meat, um, <laughs> to uh, bring in, this would be a great way to actually clean a lot of water using algae and then your byproduct is oxygen. I mean, like how awesome is that? And if you don't like seeing an overlay like this then we could probably treat this oxygen, you know, many different ways. Okay, here we go. So now they're emptying it. Food poisoning inside of this polluted water. Look at that. Only 62 germs. And that's in 360 kilograms. What? 72 germs. 360 kilograms. Oh, we just found a way to purify water of germs without needing to heat it. Okay, so now pick this up and empty it and watch what happens. I mean, <laughs> it's poor oxygen. Let's just paint in the clean oxygen real quick. Oxygen. Kind of de-germ it a little bit. All right, so moment of truth. Polluted water. Only 142 germs. Mm, went on up to 700 and... See, now, like, that's barely any at all. And look at all the kilograms we have inside there. 459, 459, and what it's got. It's got 800 germs in it. All right, so let's take a liquid pump here, and we're going to reroute this into the sieve and see just how many germs come out the other end of that. Let me disinfect that real quick. Zero. Zero surface germs will enable the pump. And there we have it. Nearly, nearly germless water. I mean, the reduction from over here, we've got just an enormous amount of polluted food poisoning. Look at that. Six million being piped in. A bunch of it ends up in the air. And then we get like 180 germs in like 200 kilograms of water. See, now a little bit of polluted water is finding its way over, and that's the problem. It's kind of corrupting it a little bit. So let me deconstruct, let me, let me start this test over, because I think I have something here. Okay, so for this experiment, you can see that we don't have any germs inside the base. It is pretty much just clean. All right, so let's think through this. This is all going to be germy, dirty water. I want it to become clean, but still germy. So that will run through the sieve. That sieve will then dump into the terrarium system, and at that point, it'll become clean-ish. At least that's the idea. Okay, so out of the sieve, you can also run two ways. So that will find its way back to the sieve. Okay, so once I empty the polluted water down here, that will then get piped up, and this should be without germs, into the clean sieve, which then gets recirculated into the toilets and wash sink and everything else. So that comes down here, 
and joins back up with the liquid system over here. All right, so let's see if this system actually cleans its own germs. I don't know, it might work. So I have an initial source of nice clean water, but every time they use the lavatory or something like that, that'll then get moved through the base. All right, so the first shower, ooh, and there we go, there's some germs. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a clock sensor, just because in, in my base, that would not run constantly. It would only run, let's say, 10% of the day. Okay, so I do have polluted dirt here with a lot of food poisoning inside of it. So the water sieve does kind of do one thing there, and that's kind of what I've seen it do many times before, is that, that that's something. So you can see that this system here is actually doing a pretty good job of, you know, remaining fairly germ-free. Every once in a while we clean the liquid pipe, you know, vent there, but for the most part, it just isn't that bad. <laughs> I've given all my duplicates diarrhea so that they use the bathroom more often. I only give them mush bars. It takes a long time to do this experiment. I mean, these terrariums are not constantly running, at least at this point. So now, let's see if I get germs in the output of this polluted water as it flows through. See, we've got some polluted water that's going in. We've got germs. Polluted water says it has zero surface germs and there's no wire connected. Oops. Okay, so here goes the liquid. Oh, come on. Moment of truth, does this work? Please work. Here we have it, water, zero germs yeah it is completely free of germs so at this point if I disable this building right so I don't have to bring any more water in from a an external source I should be able to do this number and inside of here is just nice clean water <laughs> so you can see what's going on here uh, I've put the conveyor receptacle up here inside of some chlorine, bam, that gets rid of it. So what happens if we were to add some chlorine down here beneath these terrariums? Just out of curiosity, I know it's gonna be a bunch of carbon dioxide and that's mostly what you wanna put in there to get rid of you know, extra carbon dioxide inside your base, but what happens if it was different? Take a little bit of chlorine gas, I'll just put it right down here. Not a lot, just a little bit. Or what if it operated like this. We closed off one side here and the oxygen has to flow, oh, I don't know, out the top here. But over here on the right, it just encounters an area that has lots of chlorine inside of it. So chlorine doesn't find its way out the top, but maybe it tries to kill off a bunch of germs that are, you know, trying to make it outward. That way, at least your base doesn't look like it's covered in germs, even though those germs don't really negatively affect anything. I might actually need to have more chlorine inside of here. It looks like this experiment worked out and worked out great. Absolutely awesome. So that's a pretty legitimate method right there to clean germs out of your polluted or clean water by simply running it through an algae terrarium. So hopefully you guys found this video somewhat informative or helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. If I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar out.